chemicals used to develop photographs? Well, we don't use a lot of chemicals to develop photographs anymore. Uh, one I've been playing with recently has been uh, cyanotype. And cyanotype is an interesting, um, it's blue, you've seen them, the blue photographs. And um, what happens is there are uh, a series of chemicals that were discovered by the astronomer, John Herschel. Um, and somewhere before uh, Daguerre and Fox Talbot were able to fix the image, must have been somewhere around 1830. And what he discovered was that uh, you could uh, mix these chemicals, put them on paper. Uh, when they dried, they became sensitive to light. And then you would have a synthesized paper that you could use not for projection speed, but that you could, um, you could contact print with it. A developer, a stop bath, and a fixer. Uh, these were chemical, but I think uh, actually uh, Herschel was one of the people that developed, uh, worked out the idea for fixers with uh, Fox Talbot, some of his writing. Um, but you know, that's been traditional. There was a lot of, in the early days, uh, uh, a lot of different kinds of processes that used different chemicals, mercury, some of them were dangerous. Uh, Matthew Brady had to use wet plates, so they had to. They had to go in the dark and synthesize the plate, a glass plate, and then uh, go out into the um, uh, camera, put it in the camera in the dark, and then run out and take their picture, and then run back before it dried out and process it. So it's very difficult.